Well, hello, my friends. So today I'm going to do a wrap up of the It's All About Jade Summer coloring pages that I've done. So this is basically all the ones that I've done in the Glare's Real People in January. So the first book I did, and I arguably did not do many pages in here, is The Delicious Dessert by Jade Summers. And this is one of the ones I did a video on, and it's the ice cream cone, and I did it on January 5th. Um, do you guys date your books? Maybe I'm weird, but I do. I like to know when I do stuff, especially if I keep them bound. So this is done mostly in Spectrum Noir um, markers, possibly some Sharpies and gel pens. And I liked it. Um, I didn't have much inspiration. I tried to do some shading with the, um, with the gray markers and then I put a wash of a beige over it to hopefully get some 3D effect, but I'm not sure how successful I was. And I didn't bother with the background. And so the next page I did was, I did a background. This is probably, um, it's colored pencil probably Crayola Twistables because that's what I've been working with this month. Some markers and it looks like some alcohol markers, gel pens, and it looks like possibly some fine liners. So yeah, this was just a fruit cake um, in the book. And so that was everything I've done in delicious desserts and I think I did both of these on videos so you can go back and check my playlist if you want. The next one I did I only did one page in this book because it turned out I don't really like this coloring book and I don't like coloring people or at least I don't now and so this is in Kawaii Girls um, and I did it mostly in alcohol markers and I had some problems with um, when I would take the lid off the barrel, the part that holds the nib in connection to the pen where the alcohol ink is came, kept coming undone and so I would do that and then um, I do like how I did the hair. I am proud of that. Not really a big fan of all that but it's a combination of gel pens and I didn't really have, oops, helps up from in frame. I didn't really have a clear idea of a color scheme or anything but I went with yellow in the background and then blue just seemed like the obvious choice and this is a um, jelly roll pen and it looks more blue but it dries more gray shimmery so it's what it is um for the most part for me not really like liking the page all that much i think it turned out all right um despite me not coloring people very much and so by far my most favorite book in this whole thing is the magical squirrel so I'll just start at the front not necessarily in the order so this is the underwater scene um, in the magical squirrels book completely done with Crayola twistables I did want to go in with glitter gel pens especially like you know the hearts and whatnot but I really wanted to get this all um, just in in the Crayola twistables and um, I like it um, they do have a little bit more binder in it than color and so it's a little bit more white but that's kind of like the effect I wanted to go with so I'm, I'm okay with it for the most part um, let's see the next one I did is this one and um, not a big fan of the color scheme but again I was kind of like flying by the seat of my pants just going with whatever and for the most part it's it's all right it's not my favorite but it's all right Let's see, and the next page is this heart one. I did start it on camera, um, but I did not finish it because I was just having a bad, horrible week this past week, and I just needed some decompression time without having to be on for YouTube. So I did finish that um, Thursday night, so right at the tail end of January, January 31st. Let's go ahead and date it. Do you guys date your pages. I don't know if it's a good idea or not. I probably won't date my um, books that I know I'm going to keep as showcase books, some of the hardbound ones. But for these, I know I won't finish them in a year. And 
I kind of do want to keep track of when I finish what. So this monstrosity, I did, um, ooh, man, I just totally ripped my page. Oh, well. Um, this is marker, and it was really bright. It, ended up, it was the color of this. So I ended up going over it with like a gray, a gray beigey gray um, colored pencil, which kind of like definitely pushed it back and made it less bright. So all the other colors of the main design popped up and was more apparent. Um, not one of my most favorite things, but hmm, it works. It's a finished page. This one I'm happy with. I do like how um, I like doing Roy G. Biv type style stuff. Um, is this going to go to? I should probably just leave it, but I can't. Okay. Anyway, and so I'm I'm really a big fan of it. It's kind of like a rainbow page, and I I like it. Um, the predominant colors are the purple and the yellow, and they do are striking enough apart to be pretty nice. And I think that is all the pages I've done. I started this one, but. I just wasn't feeling it, so I'll come back to it at some point. Um, so, I hope you had a good week, and I, this is kind of a low effort video, but it's what it is. So, I hope you happy coloring, and I will see you next time. Bye!